So first I'm gonna brush my eyebrows out. I'm gonna use the Smashbox primer. And yes, I am wearing a lace front. I have this just to secure the wig. Next, I'm gonna go in with my eyebrows. And I do wanna do an eyebrow tutorial for you guys so you guys can really, so I can really go into depth of how I do my eyebrows. So I'm gonna go in with dark brown pomade from Anastasia. I think last time I said Anastasia. So sorry if I got that wrong. And I'm gonna use this an angled brush, a thin one. So since I do have blonde right now, I want to do it very light. I don't want to put too much. I'm just gonna outline. For the next one, I'm going to use the uh, Anastasia Concealer in 1.0 and then I'm going to use this brush by Wet n Wild. Technique sponge, you guys, it's only like six bucks at the store, I think. You guys see though how important it is to clean them up. This concealer a little goes a long way, so, so I'm gonna go back in, blend it. Oh, I use it as a primer, so my eyeshadows go on really nice and the color actually pops out. Translucent powder, and this is by Laura Mercier. Mercier. <laughs> Translucent powder. for a little bit and then I'm gonna go back in with my eyeshadow once I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette this one I'm gonna use a blending brush this is from Morphe first of all I need to dust it off just any brush to dust it off and then I'm gonna go in in my crease in my eye and just So I'm just I'm just going back in with that same color, putting it, packing it on, blending it out. I really want my transition shade to stand out. So I'm gonna use this 
this tip right here the like smudgy type oh. all right so next i'm gonna go in with the same palette jacqueline hill and i'm gonna go in with this color it's right in the center of the palette pack it on right on my crease you guys I'm gonna go in with that same brush I was using at first. I'm gonna go in with this brush right here and just blend it out. If you don't have a crease, then just blend it with the, you just have to pack on a little bit more to make it look deeper. This is gonna be a cut crease look, so I'm really just focusing on that outside. This palette is from Walmart. I believe they got it out. I'm gonna use this shade right here and I'm gonna, we're gonna pack that on as well. I'm just gonna go back in with a more detailed brush and just blend it out, you guys. These colors do not match my shirt whatsoever, but it's okay. I'm gonna go back in with the same brush and just pack on over here. It was an e.l.f. I think this is an e.l.f. brush, yeah. It's a professional concealer brush. So I'm going to grab some of the concealer from the Anastasia and I'm going to get a little You don't want to put it too low because then when you open your eyes it's going to stick, stick up here and it's going to ruin your eyeshadow. I went in with the, the first eye, eye, uh, concealer brush that I use. Tap it. Like I don't even breathe when I'm doing this. That's how bad I need this to come out right. For the outside, you kind of want to make it look like it's fading a little. This also comes in a Morphe set, and I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna use this champagne color all the way up the corner. Brush right here, the little Anastasia one that I went in. This deep color right here, like that wine dark color. And I'm gonna just pack it on there, you guys. Pack it, pack it, pack it, pack it, pack it. The first one I was using to blend, just a blending brush and be gentle. You just kind of want it to blend into that line. I'm gonna use a different brush. I'm gonna just go back in with this detail one and go back in with that color. Okay guys, I'm back. I want to go grab some tape. I'm gonna just cut a little bit. I'm gonna put it on the outside of my, on the outer V of my eye. And then I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner. I use the Sephora eyeliner. I've never used tape to do my eyeliner, honestly, you guys. So I hope this works. Mascara, I'm gonna go in with the big coloss the colossal big shot by Maybelline. These eyelashes are so bomb. I love them. I use this is my all-time favorite. It's the duo glue, and this is actually the one with the little brush. Okay, 
let it get a little tacky first and then stick it on. Going with my foundation, you guys already know this is my favorite one, the Fenty Beauty. I'm in shade 30 or 300 sponge. It is a little damp, it's not. Okay, I put like three pumps on each side. This um technique, like when I just um pump the foundation on my face and I blend it out with a sponge directly, it does absorb a lot. The sponge does absorb a lot of your makeup. But honestly, to me, I feel like it gives you more coverage as well. contour today you guys like I want to look snatched the middle color this one right here I'm gonna blend I'm gonna blend it out with the same brush Like I said, glam. I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia concealer. And with my Laura Mercier um, setting powder, and set everything. Okay guys, so I'm gonna use an all-nighter spray, setting spray for um, from Urban Decay. Take this brush right here and apply my highlight. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Glow Kit. This one is in that glow. This color right here, it's called Bubbly. Just go. Let me spray my brush a little so it's like. I'm 
just gonna do a liquid lipstick. This is the one by Anastasia. Anastasia. <laughs> Anastasia. And this one is in Hudson. Last but not least, I hope, I'm gonna use this NYX Ultra Pearl. It's like a pigment. They are super pigmented. I just a little bit of spray. Not too much. I don't really put it out. And I dip it in there. Alright guys, I'm all done with my makeup. I really hope you guys like this makeup look. It's like super glam. Super, you know. Like my go-to look um the other look that i did it was very natural i like it i do do that sometimes but this is like my weekend go-to look all the time yeah thank you guys so much for the support i hope that you guys like this you know body makeup or whatever you guys want to call it <laughs> i like to call it like that body makeup. and i hope that my tips are very helpful for you guys so yeah if you guys want to know more or see how i installed this wig then let me know i will be more than happy to show you guys how i do them um it's not that hard i promise and i don't think you guys should be shy to wear them i like to wear them because i like to conserve my hair so yeah i'll go in more in depth with that in another video if you guys want me to um but thank you guys for watching bye bye